Welcome back. If you're looking for ways to spend your summer weekends without breaking the bank, Jonesboro's Music on the Square will give you the perfect plan every Friday night through September. T. McLeod joins us now to tell us more about this summer's free concert series. You know, downtown Jonesboro, it's changed a lot over the years, right? This has been a constant. It has. Uh, Music on the Square has been happening, I think, for 20 plus years now and uh, it's always been the same format and it's always there in front of the old courthouse in downtown Jonesboro. So the oldest town of Tennessee has a, a grand concert on Friday nights during the summertime. What a great tradition to have and in this year's edition we've had it a couple weekends already now. How's it been going? It's been going great. The first weekend uh, was Trey Hensley, a local favorite. It was great weather and the streets uh, and the sidewalks were just full of people. Um, Last week it was a little cloudy, a little cool, but we still had a good crowd. That uh, performance was by Crew Contreras, which is from Knoxville, Tennessee. I did a wonderful job. The music was great. And what do we have on tap for uh, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night is the Peterson Perkins Quartet. That's a jazz ensemble from right here in Johnson City. They play great jazz music, so it should be a great show. Um, uh, starting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Well, we're hoping we can do it outside, dodge that rain, but if it does rain in Jonesboro, you guys have a contingency. We do have a contingency. If we know in, early enough in the afternoon that it's going to be raining, then we'll set it up and do it in the visitor center. The food truck moves over to the visitor center, so we still have the same performance. It's just not outside. It will be inside the visitor center. Good to have that plan for sure. And T, you're a downtown business owner. Tell me about the impact that uh, these types of events have uh, for all the businesses downtown doing this every week? Well, it's great for us because we get a lot of uh, new folks that are coming to town. Music on the Square has sort of a, a, a wide range of music listeners that come in from other areas. Last week I talked to people that were from Bakersville, North Carolina and Greenville, South Carolina that had come specifically uh, for the show. So it's a good way for us businesses to stay open and get new people in town to see what Jonesboro downtown area is all about. Really cool to show off Jonesboro from people for people that far away. Yes, it sure is. Absolutely. And if you can't make it out tomorrow night, this goes through September, but right. on Sundays starting next month, we're going to have a, a whole different concert series. Right. We have Brews and Tunes. That's on Sunday afternoon. The food truck arrives about four o'clock. The beer is uh, poured about four o'clock. Uh, the music actually starts at five o'clock, uh, and I think this year the first Saturday, uh, first Sunday is June the fourth, and that'll be J.P. Mathis and Fiddlin' Leona will be doing the concert that day. So they're local artists, and and they come just about every year, put on a great show. Excellent. Is there anything people need to know or bring with them before they head out? Well, for either music on the square or for bridges and tunes, just bring your folding chair, a blanket. Uh, bring your kids. Uh, we have a lot of kids that come into town. Kids love to get up and dance during uh, the show. And uh, so it's just a great way for a family to have a good, fun evening and experience downtown Jonesboro. All right, T, thank you very much. And here's those details one more time. Music on the Square happens every Friday from 7 till 9 through September 27th, right there on Main Street in downtown Jonesboro. Each week, you got a different performer paired with a rotating food truck. That event is completely free. All you got to do is bring a chair or blanket. Brews and Tunes is on Sunday afternoons, June through September from 4 to 7 p.m. on the plaza in front of the International Storytelling Center. We'll be right back.